Alright, so I'm going to show you guys exactly how to test this out. So I put both of these on Invulnerable Elite. So you have to go all the way down through these settings to Invulnerable Elite. That way you can test this out as long and uh, as long as you want without having to worry about it, you know, killing the target or anything. So what I do is I sit here in the right corner. I pop out my striker drone for that right target. That way the drone is out of my way and I can just test on the center target. So here is with 60% crit chance and low headshot damage. I'm averaging somewhere between, you know, you can see right there, anywhere between 450 and 550 on headshots. And there it is. Merciless proc, 1,009,000. That is with max crit chance and not a lot of headshot damage. I'll show you guys the build right here. Same base damage. The only difference is I took off the headshot and I added max crit. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so I just showed you guys what it was with the max crit chance. So here is how I actually run the build. I'm going to show you guys the numbers. What I do is I drop the crit chance from 60 to 57 and I add a headshot damage scope. Now this is for those of you that don't want the max crit chance and you want more headshot damage. This does hit harder and I'll show you guys. So remember both invulnerable elites put the striker drone to the right and shoot the target in the left. Let's see what I get. Six, there, there was, oh, there it is right there, 1.129. That is with one shot to the head, 1.129. Now you remember earlier, the other one was at 1,009,000. So I'm doing over 100,000 more damage. Oops, wrong one, here you go. So I dropped it down to 57 chance and now I'm at 115 headshot damage. So let's go to the build video, yep. Yeah. What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now shout out to the DoD, Disciples of Doom, like always. But alright, this is going to be my one tap rifle build. I just got done showing you guys some footage and explaining some things in the firing range. Just to try to get your guys' uh, head around what I'm showing you. This is a one tap rifle build. This will one tap people in the dark zone and in conflict i will show you guys gameplay video of both the dark zone and conflict after this build but until then i wanted to show you guys and explain how this build works because yes it is a one tap but you need to have certain buffs activated in order to make it work so there's a lot of moving parts within this build but once you understand and you get it down, you will be able to one tap anybody in the dark zone. But with all that being said, I am Kamikaze Von Doom. If you guys enjoy this in any way, shape, or form, make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you have any questions at all, let me know in the comment section below and I will gladly answer it. And if you are new to this channel, subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell. That way you get notified each and every time I bring you another Division 2 video. But alright you guys, um, yeah, here we go. One tap rifle build. I'll let you guys look at this just for a second. This is a little different than your normal rifle or marksman rifle build. Um, starting off with the specialization. Yes, I am using Demolitionist. NTU6, Demolitionist is the most OP specialization for PvP. Uh, it, it goes without saying, you use that with the Merciless and you've already got an upper hand on anybody not using it. it it's insane, it is deadly, and the amount of procs and damage you get out of it is ridiculous. It's truly ridiculous. Not only that, but when you get special ammo in the dark zone or conflict and they run up on you and you're a rifle build, just whip out that grenade launcher and one tap them there too. Um, yeah, 
I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. But all right, so I'm using Demolitionist. I get the explosive damage. I get to ignore incoming explosions once every 60 seconds. My teammates get uh, damage to targets out of cover. So, I mean, it, it's there's a lot of good things that are coming out of this specialization. Now, let's get into the weapons. So, primary is a classic M1A, secondary, merciless, and then a double barrel sawed off shotgun. The classic M1A, I have hitting at 134.3k base. This is not with any of the buffs active. And trust me, there are a laundry list of buffs that are in this build. Starting off with the talents, I have Rifleman. Uh, landing a headshot adds 10% weapon damage for 5 seconds. This can stack up to 5 times. And the duration refreshes after every headshot. It's not a headshot kill. It's just hitting them in the head. So potentially you can get up to 50% more weapon damage just by using this rifleman. So you hit a headshot, your next one's going to hit harder. You hit a headshot, the next one's going to hit harder, what have you. And it's going to keep compounding up to five stacks. It's a lot of damage that they're just giving to you. Now remember, it does require four or less blues. So that's why I have four blues on the dot for this build. Because that's the most blues you can have while running Rifleman. I also have Distance for optimal range and recharged. Now, the distance, you could very well switch to Allegro and this would still work very nicely. Looking at the attachments, I have a eight times scope for headshot damage, 30%. I'm running a tightly packed magazine, giving me five more rounds. And the small laser pointer from the demolitionist specialization giving me 7% crit hit chance. My secondary is the Merciless, 49.5k uh, base for this build, and I mainly use it for the Brutality. It is a holstered talent, and every shot gives you a 5% chance for it to get that explosive damage proc. That is the entire premise of this build. You want that proc. That proc will one tap anybody in the dark zone or conflict. It doesn't matter if you have any buffs active, it will one tap them. Double barrel sawed off, 252.1k base with premeditated Allegro and recharged. So yeah, if I'm running against the shotguns, I've got my own shotgun right here. It hits a little bit less than theirs, but it's a double barrel and it's got premeditated. So there are your weapons. Let's go into the gear. A quick overview of the gear. This is a 12-4-0 build. 12 red, 4 blue, and 0 yellows. Um, my max armor right now is just about 233k, and my, uh, my health is pretty low at 27k. This is not for face tanking. This is not for up close and personal gameplay. This is not for you to just run down the street and try to shoot somebody point blank. This is for you to sit back, pick them off, and you can one tap them. Uh, like if you do it smart, you could you could really do some damage with this build. And then when they run up to you, your teammates will help you out. You're good to go. This is for a team-based uh, build. So. All you solo PvPers out there, yeah, you could use this, but as soon as the enemy jumps up on you, you're going to have no backup and not a lot of sustainability, so it's pretty much game over there. But if you're at range, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Okay, starting off with the mask, Douglas and Harding. This is the Punch Drunk. It is the named Douglas and Harding mask, and it gives you that perfect concussion. Now, perfect concussion, every headshot I hit grants me 20% headshot damage for two seconds. 
and then if I was using a marksman rifle it'd be five seconds but for the rifle two seconds is good enough so when I hit headshots not only am I getting the rifleman proc but I am also getting perfect concussion now from the brand set bonuses of Douglas and Harding I get five percent accuracy out of this item the attributes crit hit chance at 10 percent and hazard protection at 22 percent moving on to the backpack overlord armament backpack from the overlord brand set bonus i get 10 percent rifle damage the attributes two blues and a red i get total armor at nine and a half bonus armor at 18,000, and then weapon damage at nine percent yes you can get these numbers up higher but due to rng these are my numbers the talents spark and destructive so for spark damaging uh, any enemies with a skill or explosive grants me 15 weapon damage for 15 seconds and then the destructive gives me 40 percent more explosive damage for that merciless proc and then with it being overlord backpack i get one red mod slot and this is giving me weapon damage and rifle damage down to the gloves alps climbing gloves with devastating the alps summit armament brand set bonus gives me 20 percent skill haste the attribute i rolled 12 percent rifle damage and then the devastating gives me another five percent weapon damage but also with it being alps climbing i get one red mod slot so this gives me more weapon damage and rifle damage. Chess piece. This is the pristine example. This is the named Araldi Holdings chess piece. And what it gives you for that is perfect vigilance. I get 30% more weapon damage, but if I take any sort of damage at all, it disables this buff for four seconds then I need seven or more reds to keep this thing active. Uh, for the Araldi Holdings, I get two out of the three brand set bonuses. I have 10% accuracy and 10% headshot damage. This chess piece also came with two reds, being crit hit chance at 15 and weapon damage at 13. The Araldi Holdings chest piece comes with a blue and a red mod slot, so I threw on their armor, total armor, and more rifle and weapon damage. Holster. This is the uh, Wyvern Wear holster. For the brand set bonus, I get crit hit damage. The attribute, I rolled crit hit chance at 16%. The talent that comes on this holster is precise, giving me 15% headshot damage, and also a red mod slot giving me more weapon damage and rifle damage. And finally, the knee pads, Araldi Holdings knee pads. I've already gone over the brand set bonuses, but the attribute, I rolled 9% crit hit chance, and this comes with composure, the talent, so when I'm in cover, I get 10% more total weapon damage while in cover. That one requires 11 or more reds. So between the 11 or more reds and the four or less blues, this is basically the best you're gonna be able to get this build because you can't go into any more blues and you can't really go into any more reds. And for the knee pads, I do have one more red mod slot giving me more weapon damage, damage to armor, and rifle damage. So overall, everything is giving me buffs and damages. So with the mask, every headshot, I get perfect concussion giving me more headshot damage. For the backpack, I have spark. So when I use my striker drone, I can proc spark. When the merciless procs, it procs spark. And it gives you more damage. And then that destructive, giving you the explosive damage, also helps with that merciless proc. The gloves, I'm getting 20 plus damage just from the gloves. I get the rifle damage as the attribute. I get the 
devastating weapon damage buff, and I get the red mod slot giving me more damage. The chest piece, the perfect vigilance, without getting hit or damaged from anywhere, I get that 30% buff. So I'm just walking around with a 30% buff until I get hit by anything. The knee pads, if I hit headshots, that precise gives me more headshot damage. So it's just adding up. And headshot damage is multiplicative. It's not an additive. So you get to multiply that to all your damage. And then composure, I'm just sitting in cover. You can be up top on a ledge. You can be behind a car, truck. You can be anywhere. Just as long as you're in cover, you get that composure proc. And it's just all of these procs and buffs on top of each other is what creates this one-shot build. Because if you're using this correctly and you get that shot and it procs the Merciless, it's going to take down whatever it is you're going against because the Merciless proc acts as a second hit. So say I hit you for 300k to the head. Well, if the Merciless procs with that, you get the 300k headshot and you get the Merciless proc, which also counts as like a critical headshot. So you're, you're doing twice the amount of damage for one shot. And if you have a two tap build with that proc, it turns it into a one tap build. It, it, it's pretty easy to explain. I just hope you guys are understanding it because there's a lot of things moving in this build, but once you get it all together, it's game over. Now for the skills, I already kind of went over this. I use the striker drone. That way I can send the drone way out there to peg them in the back. And while they're distracted by that, I can you know try to snipe them with this rifle. And then I use the booster hive. Uh, the booster hive is great for your teammates. They get the agility, they get the weapon handling, and they get the skill haste. But for you, you're also getting skill haste, the handling, and all that. So it, it helps everybody out. Uh, for all my PvP builds, I usually run a booster hive. Now that is the build. Let's finish off with the stats. Going down to the weapon stats, this is for the classic M1A. 134.2k. Uh, for PvP, it drops it down to 88.6k. But with the gameplay I'm showing you guys at the end, you'll see that I'm hitting for over 300k a hit. And then with that merciless proc, that's another 300k plus. And this thing is hitting upwards of 6 to 700k per hit in PvP. Now I drop the crit chance from 60 to 57. That way I could use this headshot damage scope. So my headshot damage is actually up to 115. And yeah, even with the crit chance going from 60 to 57, it still procs that Merciless pretty often. Um, out of the two clips I showed you guys in the beginning of this video, like within that one magazine, I'm already procking that Merciless. Let's go to the offensive tab. So for all weapon damage, I have 34%. And then for the rifle damage, I have 58%. So that does bring me up to 92% damage bonus. I have 1% armor damage and 65% explosive damage. Go down to the defense, pretty low. I'm at 233 armor and 27 health. I do have 22% hazard protection and 20% skill haste. And that's about it you guys. Uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below. Like always make sure you hit that thumbs up and yeah. Alright that's it. Shout out to the DoD like always. I'm Kamikaze Von Doom. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah I'm almost there. Right there. Oh, oh, he's cutting it. Getting him. All right, he's down. Oh, his friend's just watching. Oh, uh, he's down too. All right, cool. Woo, man. No cover, no composure, no buffs. Just standing up. Woo. I dig it, man. I really dig this one. This thing's nasty. Woo, that build. I, I just, I bet no one's going to come by. 
It's been pretty dead. Oh, wait. Oh, one and two. <laughs> uh, get this nade. See you, man. Two shot him. Oh, cut my rope. Ha!